Hello friends, this video on transport in plants and animals part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Whenever you have oxygenated blood which is flowing from heart to different parts of the body. So from heart to different body parts that means this in this route it is all carried by arteries. So arteries carry this oxygenated blood from heart to different parts of the body. Again, one more place where you see that blood, uh, the blood is flowing from heart to other parts of the body. So here you see from heart to lungs. So this is carried by the pulmonary artery. But here in this case, this, this is an artery because it is carrying from heart to other body part. But this is an exception because it is carrying deoxygenated blood. So this is where arteries play a role. So pulmonary artery is an exception because it carries deoxygenated blood from right ventricle of the heart to the lungs which is very much clear from this figure. So let us now talk about the next blood vessels that is veins. So these veins they carry blood from different body parts to the heart. So just opposite to that of arteries. Arteries will carry from heart to other body parts and veins will carry from other body parts to heart. So just the reverse. So they generally carry deoxygenated blood. So I think it will be better if we mention this, if we try to understand this using the same diagram. Now based on what we have started, studied about arteries, we saw that this oxygenated blood is carried by the arteries. This one is carried by the pulmonary artery. What about veins? Veins generally carry deoxygenated blood and they carry it from different body parts to the heart. So this is carried by the veins. And again, in case of veins also, we have an exception that is the pulmonary vein because they carry oxygenated blood. So normally veins carry deoxygenated blood as you can see here. But the only exception is pulmonary vein. It carries oxygenated blood from lungs to the left auricle of heart. So these veins, they have thin elastic walls. Why? Because in case of veins, since the blood is flowing from different parts of the body, so the blood doesn't flow under very high pressure. Because in case of arteries, the blood is flowing out from the heart and heart is the pump. So it actually pumps out the blood at a very high pressure. So it is important that arteries should have thick walls. But in case of veins, it is not the case. Therefore, they have thin elastic walls. So the exception to veins are pulmonary veins which carry oxygenated blood from lungs to the left auricle of heart. Now in case of veins there is another important point to be noted is that valves are present in case of veins. Now why do you have valves? Valves are like uh, you can say doors which regulate or control the flow of a fluid. Now these valves are present to prevent backflow of deoxygenated blood because veins carry deoxygenated blood which is a, you can say full blood or black blood. So we do not want backflow of the blood to take place. We do not want deoxygenated blood to flow to different parts of the body. So that is why valves are present so that it can control the flow of deoxygenated blood only in one direction and that is toward the heart. So valve is similar to a door. So it can regulate the entry or exit of people. So that, that's the purpose of valves. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.